Have you, you spoken to Barbara? But funny enough, no, I've spoken um, to Scott. Uh, I don't know if anyone saw I put a, a tweet, cos I, I when, when the news got announced, yes. um, I didn't want to use the word Alzheimer's or dementia, cos I know what Babs would have been like, so I, I imagine me talking to Barbara and her going, I've got a little spot of forgetfulness. Right. And that's where I am, you know, when I, when I speak to Scott. And, you know, they're battling on, and yeah. every day's a different day for him. She's but... great. If anyone can cope with it, she can. Yeah. I mean, and the yeah. two of them together are great too. Oh, and yeah. you know, for me, he's uh, he's every man I'd like to be. Yeah. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Looking after his lovely wife, and God forbid it ever happens to any of us, but no, he steps up to the mark and he's a top geezer. I yeah. mean, we always love when he's said and stuff to them. They're always brilliant. But this one was a great one because there were just no. No one saw spoilers, it coming, didn't they? Were there? When I first went into EastEnders in 2001, 2002, and at the end of an episode, you, you've got a count in your head, you've got about, well, the duff duff's coming, so you've got about eight to 12 seconds. So, and I remember when I was first in the show, uh, you know, 18, 16 years ago, and I'd go, right, it might be a big scene where she goes, oh, I can't stand you, Alfie. So you go in your head, you're going, right. And you sometimes you'd see me go, duff, duff, duff. <laughs> 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 you always got a stink in your head. It's <laughs> there. Yeah. That mm. moment. I got goosebumps watching that. Thank you, man. Just watching that. And it's this lovely... We were talking about this. a collective national moment where everyone's going to look at each other and go, he's back. You don't get it anymore because people leak. There are That's secrets. That's right. How did you things... keep it a secret? I mean, not even telling you, old dear, Shane. I know. My mum, bless her, ran with last night. And, you know, if you know my fan, we're all from Dublin. She's, Shane, I can't believe you didn't tell me about he's back now. Come on. Uh, subtitles for that, if anyone knows <laughs> that's my mum. But, I, you know, we sat down with myself, uh, John York and the, the rights producers, and we said, right, we're going to bring back Alfie for these particular uh, storylines, and tonight it's a big reveal. Mm. Uh, but we can't tell anybody, and I was snuck in. It was like uh, we went to film, and, of course, Jessie's one of my best friends. I couldn't even tell Jessie, you, you know. Didn't tell Jess. No. Mm -hmm. And everyone's going, so who's this Hayley's boyfriend? And no-one... Guess and some like Jake Woodward text me knitting, Steve McFadden and called Jack to say, Are you coming back? I say, No, I'm away filming Benadorm. Of course, I wasn't. Shane, have uh, you just revealed something? Are they going to reveal tonight that you are Haley's boyfriend? Haley's boyfriend I'm, am I losing you? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> just cutting out. <laughs> and it's down to Kate with the weather. <laughs> um, no. Have you just given it away? <laughs> no, but you need to watch tonight because there is a backstory uh, oh. that tells the reason why Kat and Alfie aren't together. Yes, yeah, so the look, let's because, of, you know, because everyone's going to watch now that you're back. But in, just in case people haven't been, Kat's been back. Mm -hmm. We know you two have split up. But yeah. we never reveal why, and no. I guess the speculation is now: is are you father of Haley's baby? That's the big thing, isn't it? That's well. Tonight is a big reveal, whether it happens or not. But oh. no. But tonight there, there's a, there, there is a big story uh, to be told, and is tonight it? we set the seeds for that. I was watching an interview you did with Lorraine. Oh no! I, I love Lorraine, say. of course. And this was She's only towards, have a bone to pick this with was you. towards the end of March. Yeah. And you said. I'm not going back. Were you kind of no. sort of so I know, and, and I've known Lorraine like you guys for years, and and of course I was sworn to secrecy. I kind of knew round about then they wanted to do something with Alfie. I wasn't quite sure what it was, so I was hoping that when she asked me, she was going to ask me in a certain way, and she said to me, "Are you going back to Walford?" And I said, "No, I'm not going back to Albert Square." <gasps> you cheeky monkey! So basically, because that wasn't filmed in no, Albert no, Square, so you didn't th lie to Lorraine. I didn't lie to Lorraine. No one oh, should lie oh. to Lorraine. No. <laughs> <laughs> no one dare like to no. pray. Would that stand up in a court of law? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think but, so. Um, and I wish you asked me at the time when I was really excited, but like I said, I was snuck in into the building, not in, on the back seat of a car with a hood over my thing, sneaking it, and was lock, kind of locked in the dressing room. Uh, and so those none of the other cast none members... None of the cast, no. So when you were brought in, it was for that scene we saw last night? Yeah, to, yeah and tonight wow. you'll see um, the episode tonight is what I was brought in to do and to set thrown Alf kind of throws a spanner in the works and the repercussions of tonight's episode will wow. carry on and what about then because mm -hmm. i know we've only done a couple there's only a couple yeah. at the minute what about future though Does, i mean if he's if he's if he's throwing spanners around then he's got to come back and pick him up yeah i'd like to think uh, i mean john york who are you know is, he was the gentleman responsible for bringing the moons and the slaters mm. to the show back in 2001 2002. He writer, producer, he's, the he's, he's the governor he's the boss now. he's mm. the boss and Probably one of the best it's been, you know, some mm. of the most iconic storylines have been mm. with John York. And and I and I like to think he's got plans in the future for oh, Alfie. Whoa. But of course, like any actor, you know, it, it's never the actor's decision. It's no. always those with the power. And, you know, there's um, there's stories to be told, and fingers crossed they'll bring back Alfie to tell those stories. You've got a lot of affection for the show, clearly, haven't I you? I love it. You know, I it, 
back in 2002 when I when I made the show, you know, because I was a job in actor mm. before I got into doing presenting and doing stand up and game shows. And that kind of, you know, I'd, I'd gone through a bit of a dark period in my career, personally and professionally, of course. It's like saying, like, you know, only watch Loose with me to see what I'm up to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, Good old Khalid. Yeah, black. Uh, no, she's lovely. Morning, Khalid. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and, and so EastEnders was wonderful in a sense, and also because th th that character came around at the right time, because at the time you had, you know, uh, Alfie came in looking after his nan mm. and his younger brother, and he was kind of wasn't playing that alpha male. Mm. So it was all about timing, and but that was like 16, 17 it's years ago. It's amazing that as well, isn't it? Mm. Mad, isn't it? Me and Jesse still look back on some of the old stuff and go, wow, we look like babies. <laughs> Give it a go, Weather. come on. Yeah, because come on, you go on. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Find out what the details are. Let's take a look. <laughs> now, there will be, this is there's some rain today, OK? And around about the London area, it's going to be a bit hot and sunny, but the risk of a thunderstorm. Isn't that right, Laura? There certainly is. This is today, heavy rain across Wales and the yeah, South 13 West. people in Hull <laughs> are going to get wet, and 24 <laughs> people in London don't know that it's going to be raining. But for people having barbecues this weekend... Oh, here we go, the all-important... Oh, now, if you're in Edinburgh at the weekend, it's looking good. Broken sunshine with a bit of cloud. Belfast? Plenty of sunshine. Manchester, haven't it? OK, <laughs> they don't care whether it's raining or sun, they'll be out in a barbecue. Cardiff, oh, where Bradley's there filming Doctor... Oh, Doctor Who's... Got are you, having, are you having a barbecue? How did you, you keep that a secret? Already, well, how did you keep anything a secret? How do you not chat I all know, the time? I know, I'm sorry.